The Guam Education Board granted GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez 20 days paid administrative leave. The board will then be asking the Attorney General to conduct an investigation into complaints made against Fernandez. PNC's Rizal Romanes has more in this report. The Guam Education Board is going to ask the Attorney General's office to assist them in conducting an investigation into the sexual allegations made against GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez. And what we're doing as, as a board, and I'm, I'm going to be the one to be requesting the AG, if they can come in and assist us and do an investigation. Because what we did is, I do not call it an investigation, I call it fact-finding only to try and do mediation. Uh, but. Uh, What's happening is the superintendent did file a complaint with GPD, the AG, and the FBI, and the complainant did file with GPD, but we have not concluded anything on the investigation is still ongoing. We asked GEB Acting Chairwoman Rosie Tainatongo why they asked the AG to step in. What's happening is right now we don't, the board doesn't have their own uh, attorney, mm -hmm. so we're working on that right now. So we just wanted to, to make sure that maybe another eye comes in and look at it. But you know, the police is looking into it already. They're, they have started their investigation. This decision follows a special meeting held this morning. Today I requested uh, the board to uh, convene for a meeting. And um, the reason I requested it is I know that there are con there's a continuing investigation into the allegations made against me. After completing a week of annual leave, Fernandez requested for additional leave this morning, this time for administrative leave. Fernandez requested from the board that he be placed on administrative leave until the investigation into the sexual harassment complaint against him has concluded. As I believe that with all the questions and issues uh, arising around the allegations uh, towards me, I felt it was in the best interest of the department to be able to uh, have me go on administrative leave allow the board and law enforcement to continue and to complete their investigations and then once the, those are resolved uh, would we'll be happy to uh, meet with the board and determine the next steps. The board approved his request granting Fernandez up to 20 days of paid administrative leave starting Monday July 18. Meanwhile Fernandez says he maintains that the complaints against him do not have merit and he wants to ensure the integrity of the board's actions, intentions and decisions. Uh, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, should there be a need to shorten or extend it, I'm sure they will let me know and we'll uh, convene again so they, they can take their actions in the, the same public and transparent way that they did today. As for GDOE's budget hearing held yesterday where lawmakers scolded the board for Fernandez's absence, Fernandez says he believes his team was ready to present with or without him. You know, I took that extra time to uh, prepare the, uh, the team to be able to understand and, and ensure that they were ready for you know, the questions and answers that came up. And I think that uh, they were prepared. We have a strong management team here. Uh, it's not about one person in the department. Um, I think they did a great job explaining uh, a very complicated uh, budget and you know, I'm open to, to answering uh, any further questions should, the, should that be required of me. Fernandez explains that GDOE should now focus on the opening of the school year. Rosal Romanes, PNC News.